So, uh, folks, as I mentioned earlier, the name of the material that we offer is called Saluka. Uh, it is a composite. So, essentially, this is what it is. I'll have to take a look at that and try to bend it. See how strong it is. If you touch edges where it's been cut, it actually feels like wood because, like wood, it is a cellular composite. Uh, essentially, this is a European material. It's been around for over 40 years now. Uh, Europe doesn't have the lumber industry that we do. So they actually use a lot of different synthetic building products to compensate for the fact that they don't have much many trees left. So this is essentially what you're what, what came out, basically came out of that. All right, uh, it's used for all types of structural applications, even some marine environments. Okay, uh, essentially what they do in its liquid form, how this is actually made in its liquid form, um, they actually blow gases into it, uh, essentially nitrogen, which is just clean air. Uh, when the material comes together and it cools and solidifies. Those, those gases form little tiny bubbles, and the bubbles come, uh, become compressed as the material comes together. Uh, they form a honeycomb structure. Uh, from an engineering standpoint, uh, honeycomb structure is considered one of the strongest structures known to man. So truly what that does is make for a, a very durable material. Okay? Um, it is about 20 times as thick as vinyl, 240% stronger than vinyl, and uh, essentially it won't bend or bow. Okay? Now, the reason why I stress this is when you're shopping for windows, as I mentioned before, you really got to focus on the frame for the strength and the glass for the warmth, okay? And we actually, here's the complete corner cut. Okay, this would be the outside of it. Uh, this is the inside with the sash. I'm just going to focus just on the master frame for a moment. Think of this as a, the foundation, if you will, okay? One thing you'll notice, it's all fusion welded corners. There's no screws or glue holding this window together. That you oftentimes see on a, a lot of other windows, you know, the full part in the corner is called mechanically fastened. Okay? You know, windows without a doubt is one of those items that's considered a blind item. From a distance, they all kind of look the same. You know, some will have the fusion well in the corner, some don't. But really, what makes it exciting is when you cut it in half, is when you can truly see the differences. Okay? Um, I will note that having a master frame cut is probably better than having the sash. It gives you a better idea when you compare frame to frame. This is obviously a sash piece, okay? But when you knock on it, basically sounds like you're knocking on a hard piece of oak, okay? It's extremely durable. Feel free to feel that, Mr. Jones, right? Very strong, okay? Do you have any questions on the frame? That all makes sense. Now, moving on from that, the frame is for the strength, the glass, is ultimately for the for the warmth, okay? So what I'm going to show you here is a standard double pane glass patch. You have an idea, okay? A standard glass patch consists of two panes of glass, an aluminum spacer inside. Okay, see that piece of shiny aluminum? All right, and uh, usually they put argon gas in one coat of low E, okay? Argon gas is essentially 300 times denser than air. So it acts like a warm insulator, okay? Uh, the low E coating, actually what that does is essentially deflects ultraviolet rays from coming into your home as easily, okay? So it's supposed to assist in preventing things from fading over time, okay? So that's basically the standard throughout Massachusetts and throughout most of the country. So what we do is very different. Obviously, once again, knowing that this material window is designed strictly for New England, we actually use three sheets of glass, okay? And instead of argon gas with our flagship window, we put krypton gas in both cases.